aggressively limping here. Great punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So 15 for the switch. Goes in and secures the takedown. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Fighters back to their feet here. So a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, and of course, you don't succeed. Try, try again, was able to get him down. Persistence, pain, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Close guard. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant. Significant strikes, but his corners look as if the right just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a throw. Oh. Look at that. He's in trouble. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge. Oh, hey.